top of Mount Victoria, which you may know is very close to Auckland City. It's just over there. And I'm having a wonderful relax. Apart from the nagging thought that keeps pulsing through my brain, I think I've left the light on at home. If only I had a pair of binoculars, I'd be able to check. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, no. The sky tower's in the way. I can't see. But these binoculars do give you a very clear view. They're called binoculars because bi means two, and you have two eyes. And see, there are two parts, one for each eye. Hey, but why do you have two eyes? Hmm? So we can see better? Well, because we're born with them. Well, if we had one, it would probably be in the middle, and you couldn't, you won't, wouldn't be able to look as well in, in different ways. When light reflects off like something that you see, you couldn't just focus it with about just one eye. If you only had one, you couldn't see in both directions. Because when you've got two eyes, you can see better than if you had one. So you can see better? Yeah, I see what you mean. You know, your sight is a pretty precious thing. Without it, you'd have to rely on your other senses, like touch or smell or hearing. So maybe that's why you have two eyes. Yeah, you have a spare just in case one gets damaged. Just like a spare tire on a car. Oh, but hang on. You have one nose and one mouth. And they're both pretty important too. You know something else strange about eyes? They're both pretty close together, so you get the same view. If you're going to have two eyes, surely you'd have one somewhere else. You know, if you had eyes at the back of your head, never again would you be caught out by someone sneaking up on you. Ha <laughs> ha! Saw ya! Oh, and if you had an eye on your bottom, then never again would you sit in anything yucky. Oh, and if you had an eye at the end of your finger, just imagine the amazing activities you could do really easily, like like picking your nose. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. That would work. It would be really good. You know, there must be a pretty good reason that our eyes are both so close together and pointing in the same direction. Because it's not that way for all things that see. Like birds. Because lots of birds, like this one here, have eyes on the sides of their heads like this one. One on this side and one on this side. And there's a very good reason for that. It's so they can look out for when their predators are coming to attack them. That's the thing that eats them, like cats. Now, if you're a bird with eyes on the side of your head, you can see not just in front of you, but all around the place, even a bit behind you. So if you were a bird, and a cat was sneaking up behind you, you'd say, I taught I tore a putty tat. And you'd get out of there quick. <laughs> Mopok, Mopok. I'm a native New Zealand owl, otherwise known as Aruru. And see how I've got eyes at the front of my head just like a human? Well, that's because unlike those pretty little birdies you've got in your backyard, us owls are tough. We're predators. And the mice, beetles, and lizards that we like to eat don't just hang around waiting to be eaten. They run and we chase them. Like this. Release the stunt mouse. <laughs> See? Okay, when you're a moor pork swooping after your prey, it's all very well knowing that that little mouse is scurrying away in front of you. But if it's a small beetle, you need to know exactly where it is, how far away from you it is. So maybe having two eyes helps. Here's a funny thing. I'm going to close my right eye and stick my finger in the air so it covers the sky tower. Now, without moving my finger, I'm going to open my right eye and close my left eye. Watch what happens. My finger jumped. No, it didn't really. It's just that my right eye has a slightly different view of the world than my left eye. 
You think with them being so close and pointing in the same direction, you'd get the same view, but you don't. Have you tried this one? I've got my hands at arm's length. Well, almost, because my elbows are slightly bent. And what I'm going to try and do is get the leads of the pencils touching, okay? Let's see what happens. Ta-da! I did it. Nice and easy. I'll do it again, but this time I'll do it with my left eye closed. Let's see what happens. Ah! Oh, I missed! <laughs> I'll try that again. Oh, I missed again. Okay, what happens with my right eye closed? Oh, I keep missing. Oh, it's really tricky with just one eye, but if I use both eyes, not a problem. <laughs> And the reason why we have two eyes fairly close together and pointing in the same direction is because of stereoscopic vision. And what that means is that each eye gets a slightly different picture of the world. When your brain gets that information, it's able to work out distance, which is how far away something is, and depth. And that's if something is closer or further away than something else. Now, the picture you're looking at right now is pretty flat, isn't it? Well, if you've ever looked through one of these, a 3D viewer, you'll know what stereoscopic vision is all about. It's like you're right there in the picture with things, well, some things close and then some things really far away. Hmm. And how it works is this. There are two pictures, one for each eye. And when your brain gets that information, it's fooled into thinking that it's a real scene with some things up close and some things far away. What have we got here? Oh, when dinosaurs go bad. Cool. This will be interesting. Wow. Whoa. Talk about stereoscopic vision. But you don't need special equipment to experience the world of stereoscopic vision. As long as both your eyes are working fine, then you've got stereoscopic vision all the time, which is really good too, because think of all the things that you do every day that require you to know where something is and how far away from you it is. Like catching a ball, shaking hands with someone, or picking something up. You can do all these things with one eye shut, but the stereoscopic vision of two eyes means that your aim is much better. Just ask the next one-eyed more pork you meet. Release the stunt mouse! Oh, rats. So you have two eyes, one here and one here, for stereoscopic vision. That means your brain gets two slightly different pictures, and with those differences it can calculate how far away something is, or whether something is further away or closer than something else. Now, you can work out how you'd get on without stereoscopic vision by closing one eye and going about your everyday business. How do you get on, hmm? Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. Right. I think it's about time I got this costume off and back to the costume shop. It's pretty weird, but every time I put it on, I feel the need to chase mice. See my there. Oh, oh, come back, come back. See you next time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My book. I am a native New Zealand owl, otherwise known as Teruru. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.